Despite missing three games this season, Parkway grad Terrace Marshall Jr. is having a breakout season at LSU. He's got 12 touchdowns, but his journey to Baton Rouge came with some major speed bumps. Brooke Kirchhofer has more. 6'4", 4'4", amazing hands, awesome kid, awesome parents, you know, just the whole package. He could stick his arms out and catch the ball way out here or way down here. You didn't have to throw a perfect pass to him. And so, yeah, he's, he's got a lot of ability and it's fun watching him now. Terrace Marshall Jr. was the unanimous number one prospect out of Louisiana, even after a season-ending injury his senior season. He was just that talented. Now a sophomore at LSU and the third member of the Tigers' record-setting receiving core. Marshall is tied for 11th in the nation in receiving touchdowns, even after having to miss three games from another ankle injury. A talent much like his great uncle, Joe Delaney. My uncle, you know, he, he drowned at an early age and they always said that, you know, we wanted his legacy to live on and I just feel like that my son is, you know, picking up where his great uncle left off. Delaney, just 24 years old, died trying to save children from drowning. It was the summer following his second season in the NFL. Delaney was a running back for the Kansas City Chiefs and in his short time in the league set the longest rushing attempt in 1981. AFC Rookie of the Year broke four franchise records that stood for more than 20 years and was selected to the Pro Bowl as a rookie. They're identical and this will Terrence get his humbleness, his meekness. You know, he's just like my uncle. Part. When just hearing about Joe Delaney, they said he would give you the shirt off his back. I mean, you can describe, describe it, Terrence is the same way. He would give you the shirt off his back. Yeah, and when he, but when he on the field, hey, <laughs> it's hard. You, you probably can't, hey, it's, it's a different <laughs> story. <laughs> I think it's pretty spot on close. I mean, Joe Delaney was a special athlete. There's no telling what he could have done. And I think Terrace is going to be the same way. With Marshall's talent and the legacy of Joe Delaney, the slogan, meant to be, was born in 2015 and has been the family's trademark ever since. His death, it, it, was, it was meant to be. We know God allowed it to happen, and it, it, it's for a reason. We just know that everything ties in together, and it all ties into meant to be. Oh, man, it's been... Uh, it's, it's been a roller coaster ride, just going through the injuries and even the good times, you know, even the, even the touchdowns and, you know, just when you wrap everything up, it's been a joyous ride. Reporting in Bossier City for your Go Nation, I'm Brooke Kirchhofer. Marshall and the Tigers playing for the national championship tonight against Clemson. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock. Dan, maybe it is meant to be, not just for Terrace Marshall but for the LSU Tigers tonight. I hope so. It has been a season of dreams for this team, and I like to see seasons like this capped off ultimately with a championship. Do you have a prediction for tonight's game? I think LSU is going to win by the smallest of margins. I think them playing what amounts to be a home game is going to be the difference tonight. 45-38 LSU. Okay, there you go. Let's hope it's that way. Maybe <laughs> even more, buddy. Right. We'll see. All right.